Good morning, friends. So this video is for the second grade math group, and you guys are working in your workbooks on Unit 5, pages 23 and 24. So let's take a peek at page 23. Page 23 says, telling time to the hour and half hour. Read each clock and write the time. So the analog clock is done for you. So you have to put the digital time in that little rectangular box, okay? That looks almost like an alarm clock. So be careful because it's telling time to the hour and to the half hour. Remember, the small arrow goes to the hour and the longer arrow goes to the minute. So be careful. Go ahead and write the times. And when you're done with that, you're going to flip on over to page 24. So you will need the cutouts that you used yesterday. I sent an email on Monday with the attachments and I resent it on Wednesday with the attachments. So you were supposed to color them in and cut them out. We did this exercise during our last, our live math class yesterday and we covered hexagons with trapezoids. Okay. So page 24 says covering hexagons. How many of the shape in the second column of each table do you need to cover the hexagons? Use the pattern blocks to help you find your answers. So it has a table and we know what a table is because we've been doing tables for a while now. And in the first table where it says number one, it says number of hexagons. So there are five hexagons, one, two, three, four, five. And then in the next column, it says number of rhombuses and they are blank. So in the example that we did yesterday in live math class, it said for one hexagon, how many trapezoids? And we said two because two red trapezoids fit into one yellow hexagon. So now you're doing the blue rhombus and you need to find out how many rhombuses fit inside a hexagon. So it has four hexagons off on the side where you can put those pieces to fit in so you can see. So you are going to fill in the chart on the right hand side on the first one, a number of rhombuses. Then in the second one, it's very similar, but you have to be careful. It says number of hexagons and it lists five again, but now you're filling it with triangles. So the green triangles, you need to figure out how many green triangles fit into one yellow hexagon and you are going to write the number there. So you should be skip counting by two different numbers. Okay. Good luck and have fun.